EA Sports. It's in the game.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Our featured golfer has made it to the 13th hole. Let's pick up the action right there. An important stretch of holes coming up here late in the first round. What are some keys to finishing the first round strong? Once again, putting that ball in play, because if you can add one or two more birdies to this scorecard, it, it's gone for a little extra. You can't hit a ball that hard. That is crushing it beyond all crushing. Oh, huge. Ooh. Huge with a capital X. Busted that. That's in the fairway. Nice position. Short grass. Second shot. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Some a tester from four feet. And that is an eagle with a capital E. It is exciting and into the top five. Really jump up the leaderboard. Part 314 headed over Lake Zimmer. Old man Zimmer was a legend in these parts here in Maine, Lighthouse Point. Uh, all you want here, Frank, at 240 yards. That would be a great look at birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Starting to pile up the birdies. Five under par for the tournament. 15th hole and Frank a return to sanity. 387 yards, par four. Yeah, second easiest hole on the golf course. Uh, bends a little to the left. Just avoid the sand left and that little pot bunker on the right. And you should uh, be set up with a relatively short iron end to a, a green that really, the only problem is if you go long. Rich, there's great drivers of the ball. We've seen Norman necklace over the years, but uh, that there is just excellent. 
lovely full turn, plenty of power, and just piped it. Made it look easy right there, and he, he's such a good-looking player. When he's dialed in, swinging the way he is right now, just a pleasure to watch. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf. Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. This one has a chance to be really good. I tell you, there's long and long. And, and that, with a little bit of breeze behind, it's long. He rode the wind there to payday. He's going to have a good look coming up. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Locked in on the read and the speed. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? For that, a birdie. Twelfth hole now, and Frank, the long hitters could have an advantage here. If they want to take a very dangerous line over that left side, uh, this is really where the shot maker has the advantage, that hole bending completely to the left. You'd like to hit a draw there, so use those bunkers down the, uh, the through side of the fairway and then just sort of shape that ball towards the green. Interesting shaped green, really three different sections to this, and of course three bunkers, each protecting a different portion. Oh no, this one needs a break. This one looks like it's headed out of bounds. What was he thinking? Frank, this is where a round can get away. You've just knocked it OB. Yeah, that shot's never going to come back now. So he doesn't want to compile the, uh, the error. So now he's playing his third shot, Frank, after hitting it OB. A yeah, good tee shot, though. Um, so see if he can string a couple of good shots together now. Fourth shot, wants to get this close. And that was well done, and now a very short putt to get out of here with a bogey. Well, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure. Five minutes ago. Good putt.
Now to the 13th hole, and Frank, this could make you quake in your soft spikes. 702 yards, par, par five, that might should be a par six or a seven. Well, I think a few people will probably will make six or seven here. You're right, this is a rarity in golf, 700 yards. So forget about any thought of even getting close to this par five and two. Plus, just to add insult to injury, the two bunkers off the tee are perfectly placed. They're about 298 yards, smack bang in the middle of that. Uh, I doubt you can get past those, but you need a good drive, really, to try and leave yourself a, a short third shot. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I love the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my eye. Well, it looks like Rory McIlroy finds stick in the follow through. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. This is a good looking shot. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday and a chance for another one today. Trying to make yet another birdie. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. Now to the par 3 14th. It is 240 yards. What a golf course, Frank. I mean, this tests the best in the world. I'm talking about McElroy, Jordan Spieth, and Ricky Fowler. 700-yard par 5s and nearly 600-yard par 4s. This is all you want. It certainly is, and that's why the, the total yardage of this golf course is nearly 7,700 yards. This par 3, just a beast of 240 yards. One thing you want to do, though, is avoid Lake Zimmer. It's a big body of water to the right. If anything, though, look at the green. It shapes a little to the right. So you can use that left side of the green, which is away from the lake, which is a smart way to play this. Chance for back-to-back. -back. Well, that was a nice birdie, and... No doubt, he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. It's an absolute beauty. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Oh, you can't hide the flagstick from that one. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. Well, yeah, birdie, Frank, in another shot closer. Sniffing in the right direction. Now at the sixth hole, it's a par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? 
Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Or yesterday. Not the birdie. Now that birdie has to feel even better, Rich, with everything so tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. Par 4 7th here at Lighthouse Point is only 370 yards. Frank, are you unhappy if you walk out of here with anything other than a birdie? I think we'll see all sorts of different scores here, Rich. If you hit the fairway, then obviously you're definitely going to be looking at birdie. But uh, you stray or hit the wrong club off the tee, that's really what this hole's about. It's about club selection. You could hit a multitude of clubs off this tee. And this is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. They'll pay a little bit of a price for missing the fairway here because from that rough, you cannot control the spin on the golf ball. Oh, just making a mockery of the field now. Another eagle. Another par three. We're at the eighth. It is 